Well, according to our next guest, whether you're just trying to sell your boss on an idea or maybe you want something from a family member, the universal language we all speak is, hey, what in it for me? Mwah. <laughs> Communication expert Steve Gaffney is here with um, seven things that drive human behavior. Very interesting mm -hmm. here. Thank you for having me on the show. <laughs> Good to have you back on here. Where do you get these from? You think in, in your life, we could probably think, well, I, why are they doing that? Mm -hmm. We've always heard that question. And there's something driving that First person all, to do it. The most important thing to remember is people do exactly what they want to do and they lie about it. Oh, all right. Think about it. How often has somebody said to you, look, I, I really want to help you out. I really do. So you say, okay, <laughs> they're going to help me out. And then they don't do it. Why? Because the truth is, if they were very honest, they'd say, you know what? I really don't want to help out. But people don't like to say that because it seems uncomfortable. So they just don't say it. They lie. In fact, we also lie to ourselves. I mean, think about it. Yeah, I want to go on a diet, and then we don't. <laughs> oh, the truth my goodness. Is, we'd rather go to McDonald's. It's so good at this lying thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're so good. Do you think it just the more they do it, the better they get? Yeah, but you know what? The worst lies we ever tell are the lies we tell ourselves. You know, so people even lie to our, uh, ourselves, and we say, well, I know I really do want to help them out, or I, I really do. I do really want to achieve that goal. No, I don't. I'd rather go eat some cookies or I'd rather go do another priority in the job than to help out the person. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying people are selfish. I'm saying they're self-interested. And there are really seven drivers that drive human behavior. But in essence, the key is that we are all driven. We are all motivated. Even if we're just motivated to lay on the couch, we're all motivated. The key is to understand what people's motivations are. So you're saying we're self program we're watching. Right? Okay. <laughs> and so you're saying we're self-centered. <laughs> well, you can say well, that. I'll let yeah. you say that. Yeah. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that allegation. Right. But he smiles when I say it. <laughs> so we're, we're, looking, we're looking for ways to motivate the other person to, to help us. Yeah, well, one of the interesting things is I wrote a book, co-wrote a book called Honesty Sells. And what we found out with salespeople is the most persuasive people are people who actually do more listening than they do transmitting. In essence, they really find out about other people. So one of the key ways to persuade people is to actually think to yourself, are we just lecturing and transmitting or are we really listening? So for example, even parents, think about this. They'll say, you need to do this. Or sometimes people in the workplace, you need to do this or right. this needs to be done. Instead of if they spend more time asking and finding out what people really want, what are their dreams, what are their aspirations, where are they going? And if they didn't do something, ask them why they didn't rather than to beat them up. We might find out the real answers. And if we found out the real answers, it would unlock the answers to help them achieve what we really need them to achieve. Hmm. Okay. It's very deep. Yes, it is. It's very deep. <laughs> Pondering that. Okay, so what's the first uh, tip you have for all of us? Well, there are many uh, drivers. One of them is money, right? People do kind of what's in their self-interest or, um, you know, monetarily. Another one is time. But one of the big things of why I think people don't do what they really say they want to do, and ultimately that's not really what's going on for them, okay. is enjoyment. I really think, so for example, a diet. Well, you know, it's probably a good idea. It's probably good health-wise. But, you know, when it's all said and done, do I really want to go to the gym? I mean, when you look at people at the gym, do you say, wow, they, they really look like they're having a good time. Right, it's no fun. It's no fun. <laughs> people always say that. Oh, yeah, I'm having a good time as they're sweating <laughs> and stuff like this. But I don't... It, so the question is, what motivates people? Well, maybe there's different motivations. Maybe there's achievement. Maybe it is about health. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I think to look at is enjoyment. Because, so, for example, if we look at exercises, how could we make it more enjoyable? So maybe not lifting weights or running on the treadmill, but maybe taking a walk with our significant other or, um, you know, or actually, you know, playing, picking up a sport. Then that can unlock things. But again, it comes back to some of the drivers. So one driver is enjoyment. Mm -hmm. One driver is money. Another driver is time. And another big driver, especially in the workplace and really in our lives, is making a difference. You know, when it's all said and done, and I remember with my grandfather, he's 99 and a, three quarters in a day. Oh, wow. I would, he, he lived that long. And um, I would go visit him, and, you know, people reflect back on their life.
and they say, how did they spend their life? In other words, did they make a difference? Mm -hmm. And if you really think about it, we all want to know that in life, we'll look back and we contributed and making a difference. So if at work and at home, we actually say, this would really make a big difference. This is really important. And talk about that. I think people will rise to the occasion and actually achieve more in their life. Isn't that in direct conflict, though, of people being self-centered to make a difference if it's not about themselves? Well, think about it. So what makes us feel good mm -hmm. is actually making a difference. Because let me ask you something. If I said you need to go to a fundraiser tonight, you might say, okay, it'll make a difference. But if you saw the dollars or the efforts or by your showing at the event, it, it drew attention and made a significant difference, we would be more likely to go. So in other words, we need to feel good. It's still about making a difference, but we need to feel good about making a difference. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. What if I um, want to ask my boss for a raise. There's well, money. There's money I'll give involved you one there. of the key things. So what people do is, I have a lot of bills I got to pay, or, you know, I think I deserve it. Why not spell out and make a good business case? So turn what you have done and made a, con a contribution to the bottom line. Spell out your case of why you deserve a raise by what's in it for the boss. In other words, that you've contributed to the bottom line. A lot of people just get stuck in their own self instead of translating, okay, what's going to motivate my boss to give me a raise? To keep me here to actually um, to, for me to show them that I actually have contributed and that's what we can do a lot better and get the goals that we want in life. I have to speak the other person's language. Yes. All right. It's about persuasion yes, too. <laughs> oh the persuasions in life. Steve Gaffney good to have you on. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Up next on the show we're going to learn more about a craze that's taking over the country. Pumpkin flavored everything. Pumpkin for everybody. Why not? Bring it on. We'll be right back after the break.